Hey, Tori Wilson. Hey there, baby girl. Have you got a couple of minutes for your general manager? There's an urgent matter I need to speak to you about. Actually, Teddy, I'm supposed to catch a flight and I'm already running late. I'd love to stay and talk, but... That's okay. Don't worry about it, Tori. I don't want to be responsible for my number one diva missing her flight. You feel me? I'll catch up with you next week. Thanks, Teddy. I'll see you Thursday. Damn. I hate to see that girl go, but I love watching her leave. Holla! Teddy, it's going to be okay. Help! Somebody please help! I just can't believe that someone could do that to poor Theodore Long. Yo, don't worry about that, Tori. He'll be all right, and they'll catch whoever did it. Hey, Tori. Cena. Excuse me, Tori. I heard that you were the last person to see Teddy Long before his, um, accident. Do you mind if I ask you about it? Hey, Columbo, take it somewhere else, okay? Can't you see the ladies upset? She doesn't need you accusing her of something she had nothing to do with. No one's accusing anyone of anything, Cena. But as long as you're here, where were you when Theodore Long was taken out? Excuse me? I must have missed the part where you explained to me why I had to answer to you. Who the hell you think you are to come up here and get all up in my grill? Oh, you tell him, Cena. Fight the power. Don't take any guff from the man. I mean... Dude, it's not like there's any way that an angry thug who walks around with brass knuckles and a steel chain around his neck could ever take anyone out, right? Yo, look who it is. Mr. Pay-Per-View. You know, for a guy who calls himself the whole damn show, you sure ain't had much in the way of title shots lately, have you, Chief? Sounds like a pretty good motive for punking out our GM, don't it? So where were you when T-Lo got aced? Well, let's see. I think I was probably chilling out in the back, stretching out, you know, throwing some kicks and reading some comics. You think you were? Can anybody vouch for you? That's my downtime. Just me. R.V.D. I can't believe any of you would ever do anything to hurt Teddy. This is all so awful. What do you think happened? We've seen an excellent match so far, and it's not over yet. Not by a long shot, Cole. And that's a good thing. I don't think we could ever get sick of watching these superstars go at it. Me neither, partner. This one's got rematch written all over it. I gotta tell you, I didn't expect these guys to go off on each other the way they have tonight. 
This has been brutalist match so far. Well, Taz, it's not ballet, you know. Oh, really, Cole? Gee, here I was wondering what happened to the pointy-toed shoes and the frilly little skirts. You know what? Maybe I should go check your closet. He's been looking for that all match, Cole, and now he's taking advantage. Come on, partner, taking advantage is a rather generous way to put it. He's cheating, plain and simple. This has been a real rocket bus of a match so far, Cole. It has indeed, but I think this crowd would like to see these superstars pick up the pace a little bit. What are you talking about? This is some classic old school wrestling here. Picking your spots and waiting for your opportunities. He's three seconds away from One, a win! Two. Come on! That had to be free! Wow, now that one's not in the rule book. But you know what they say, it's not a crime if you don't get caught. I don't believe it. How could the referee have missed that? He's got him covered! Rope that break. wasn't even two! These superstars certainly aren't going easy on each other tonight. They sure are giving the fans their money's worth. No doubt, Cole. These WWE superstars put their bodies on the line night after night. And the fan, there's the pin. Can One, his opponent kick two. it out? It was like two and a half, Cole. Man, look at these superstars. You can't ask for a better example of what makes SmackDown so great. You sure can. SmackDown's got the greatest superstars and the greatest matches for the greatest fans in all of sports entertainment. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look at this. Could it be? You're damn right it is, Cole. And that's a heck of a finisher right there. He Go could break. hit his opponent right here. I don't think he's going to win any fans over with that. It ain't about winning over the fans, though, Cole. He's letting everyone know that he don't give a damn what they think. This could be three right here. One, two. Wow, talk about cutting it close. That was almost three. We've seen this before. He'll do whatever it takes to win and take every advantage he can. Hey, you know, that's not going to make you popular, but you got to do whatever it takes to win. Will we see a finishing move right here? This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut your gap for a few seconds, you're going to enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to have disturb you. I don't think the fans like that one too much. <laughs> I'm sure this breaks this guy's heart. It should. These fans are the lifeblood of WWE, and he doesn't give a damn what they think. Conditioning's a huge factor in any match. If you can't go the distance, there ain't no way you're gonna win. That's for sure, Taz. And the WWE superstars are some of the best conditioned athletes in the world. This is just dumb, Cole. You One. don't win a match by taunting your opponent to death. I disagree, Taz. Getting the crowd on your side can be a Roll huge break. psychological boost. Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this club. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's because you ain't going to see athletes like this anywhere else. You certainly aren't. They're the greatest athletes in the world. And this is the only place you'll see them doing what they do. He's going for the submission. 
And he might get it. He's got that hole locked in. Too bad that's it, Cole. I could have watched him go even longer. Here's your winner. The Saint. Hey, dude, I just wanted to say, man, I really appreciate you getting my back when Cena went off last week. I can't even believe a thug like him would accuse me of running down Theodore Long like that. Thanks for believing in me, dude. Actually, RVD, neither one of you convinced me of anything. Cena wanted a match, and I gave it to him. And besides, he made some good points. You have to admit, it's been a long time since Teddy Long gave you a title oh, shot. Oh, so that's the way it's going to be, huh? Well, let me tell you something. I don't need to have a title to be Mr. Thursday Night. So tonight, why don't you meet me in the ring, find out just exactly what it means to get your ass smoked by Rob Van Dam. Man, normally RVD's, you know, a mellow guy to say the least. But he's acting a little touchy about the whole Teddy Long thing. Well, it's a touchy subject, Taz, and until we find out who did it, I think it's going to remain that way, even for a guy like Rob Van Dam. Job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. Hey, you know what, Cole? If you're going to get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, I swear to God, I'm going to throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? Look at the... Good night, Irene. Nobody sticks around long after taking a finisher like that. I've seen matches won and lost because of moves like this. He's going for the pin. This One, could be it. Two. Is that it? No, only a two count. We've seen this before. He'll do whatever it takes to win and take every advantage he can. Hey, you know, that's not going to make you popular, but you got to do whatever it takes to win. So much can go wrong from that top turnbuckle. I love it. Talk about rubbing your opponent's face in it. Yes, but this might One. not be the smartest course of action. This match is far from over. I don't think the fans like that one too much. <laughs> oh, man, here it comes. And that might be the end of the match right there. There's a reason that's called a finishing move. On the mat, shoulders down. One, this could be two, it. Three. Wow, listen to that. That was a heck of a match, Cole. I won't mind seeing the Here's picture. Here's your winner. The Saint. Gets his ass whipped when he messes with grown folk. You blaze trees, I break knees. And your frog splash is trash. You ain't got what it takes, please. I'm the whole damn show from sunlight to sundown. 
Van Dam is the reason Teddy Long got run down. Stick them thumbs up your ass, RBD. John Cena, chain gang. You can't see me. That was real clever the way you made everything rhyme there, Vanilla Ice. It's too bad you can't wrestle half as good as you rhyme. You seem like you've got a lot of hostility that you need to get out of your system. So how about meeting me in this ring a little later and seeing what we can do about it? You want to go, RBD? Well, why don't we do it right now? Well, here's a pleasant surprise. It looks like Tori Wilson's coming down here to try to get these two to take it down a notch. Remember, Tori was the last one to see general manager Teddy Long before his accident just a few weeks ago. And it was some questions meant for Tori that sparked the problems between all these guys. Problem is, Cole, when you got a hot tomato like Tori who tries to calm down guys who are acting all macho and whatnot, it's like trying to put out fire with gasoline. Rob, John, come on. You guys don't need to do this. Why don't you just shake hands and call off this nonsense? The only nonsense here is what's between his ears if he thinks he's got what it takes to hang with me and my chain gang. Gee, dog, hanging with you sounds really cool and all. But if it's all the same to you, I think I'd rather just kick your ass. Guys, please, this isn't helping anything. Please calm down and let's talk this out. I'd punk you out right now. There wasn't a lady present. But that's all right. I'll see you back here later tonight. No problem, Cena. I wouldn't want Tori to have to watch the beating I'm going to give you anyway. Looks like you were right, Taz. It seems like Tori Wilson's presence hasn't calmed anyone. She's trying her best to help, but she's inadvertently exasperated the situation. Yeah, not only that, she made it a heck of a lot worse, too. Tori Wilson. Just the little lady I was looking for. Must be pretty flattering to have all those boyfriends doing all that fighting over you like that, huh? What do you want, JBL? Oh, I, I just had a quick question for you. But don't worry, I, I'm not gonna accuse you of attempted murder or nothing. <laughs> now listen, right before Theodore Long's unfortunate accident, did he happen to ask you about any paperwork or contracts or anything like that? Contracts? No, what are you talking about? Oh, nothing much. Just... JBL, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I was just leaving. <laughs> See you soon, Tori. What the heck was that all about? I don't know, but listen, we have a bigger problem. John and Rob are gonna tear each other apart tonight if we don't do something to stop them. We? Why not let them do it and get it out of their systems? Because you and I both know that this isn't just going to be a match. They both think they have something to prove. It's so stupid and pointless. But I need you to be the special referee and make sure they don't kill each other out there tonight. I don't know. It's not really my thing. Please, as a favor to me? All right. As a favor to you, I'll do what I can. Thanks so much. I owe you one. Now you'd better go get ready. Well, I guess he's going to referee the match, but he certainly doesn't seem to be too excited about stepping between Cena and RVD tonight. No, but I'd sure say he's motivated. Not for nothing. You don't say no to a chick like that. I'd be happy to ref that match if it meant Tori Wilson owed me a favor.
know, RVD calls himself the whole damn show, and that just gives you an idea, just a little sample. I guess we can forget about having an impartial referee. This One, is completely two, off the hook, three, four, Cole. We were expecting five, a solid match from these superstars, but this is even better than I'd hoped. Man, look at these superstars. You can't ask for a better example of what makes SmackDown so great. You sure can't. SmackDown's got the greatest superstars and the greatest matches for the greatest fans in all of sports. This ain't exactly on the up and up, but I dig it. I hope this isn't the last time we... Well, it looks like the ref's got his own idea the way this one should go. In your entire career, have you ever seen a superstar as loved by the fans as Rob Van Dam? Nope, I've never had. I mean, every crowd that Van Dam performs in front of, come on, the referee's supposed to be impartial for crying out loud. I think John Cena has risen through the SmackDown ranks faster than any other superstar in recent memory. I can't remember the last time I saw a superstar dominate the way Cena has. Yeah, Cole, but you said it yourself. John Cena has shot up real quick. He ain't picked up the experience that a lot of other superstars have, and that could be a little bit of a problem for him. Well, from where I sit, I haven't seen a lot of superstars give Cena much of a problem. He's held his own against some of the most... Come on, ref. This isn't supposed to be a handicap match. Looks like they might be taking this match down a notch here, Cole. The pace of the match may have slowed, but the intensity of these superstars certainly hasn't. You can say that again. Waiting for your opponent to make a move or give an opening can be just as intense as putting him through a table. And whether or not you have that kind of patience often means the difference between winning... He smells blood in the water, Cole. He's going straight for the submission. And this could prove to be a decisive moment in this match. He's going up. And what goes up must come down. Looks to me as this can go down in the books as an instant classic. I think just about every match has that potential, Taz. This is the WWE. I can't remember ever seeing a referee become this physical with the superstars. Submission. I ain't never seen it executed better. Neither have I, partner. And this might be enough to get the tap out right here. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, it'll probably come. He saw that one coming. This could be big, but it could backfire real bad, too. It's not easy maintaining this type of intent. Looks like our special referee is getting a little physical here. You just don't see action like this every day, Cole. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got the best seats in the house. No doubt, front and center. We couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. <laughs> and there's the submission hole. What a deadly maneuver this is. You're not kidding, Cole. Night after night. Nice quick counter. These superstars certainly aren't going easy on each other tonight. They sure are giving the fans their money's worth. No doubt, Cole. These WWE superstars put their bodies on the line night after night. Well, so much for calling this one right down the middle.
These superstars are pounding the heck out of each other. How much longer can they keep this up? I don't know, Taz, but you can bet that it's going to get a lot worse before it's over. Usually the ref doesn't get this physical with the superstars. I wonder if we're going to see anything this good on Raw next Monday, Cole. Come on, Taz. I think we... He's going for the submission. And he might get it. He's got that hole locked in. You know, Cole, the more I watch this match, the more I'm thinking that there's some legitimate personal issues here between these superstars. You might be right, Taz. After all, they spent the better part of the match beating the hell out of each other. It's hard not to take something like that personally. Oh, my! The submission hold is locked in! And this ain't easy to get out of either, Cole. tonight. This referee has no respect for the rules. You know what? This scene, he spends a lot of time running his mouth, Cole. Look at that. That's going to go over big with the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You really got to watch out for your opponent when they're getting fired up like this. I guess this ref's got a little axe to grind here. <laughs> this has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. And now the referee's getting into the action? Man, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. This referee is taking matters into his own hands. How much can these superstars, the person in charge of enforcing the rules, is blatantly violating them here? Nice reversal. Tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. You know, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. And you know what, Cole? If you're going to get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, off a crying out loud. What's the point of even having a rep if they're going to do this? What a reversal. Star the way they have for John Cena. Yeah, that's great, Cole. No doubt the WWE fans, they love John Cena. I get that. But this is not a popularity contest. It's a physical athletic competition. I don't think Cena's got any problem being physical either, Taz. There aren't many. He's got to be careful. If he retaliates, he could be disqualified. What is he thinking? If he's hurt, he's got to protect that part of his body. I think he's been trying to, Taz, but to no avail. submission maneuver. You must be familiar with this one, Taz. Yeah, I've been on both sides of it, Cole. That's the truth. And let me tell you, it's better to give than receive. I don't think the ref's supposed to do that. But who's going to DQ him? You know, the key to winning a match looks like this ref's got a little bias against one of these superstars. He was one step ahead on that one. All's fair in love, war, and special referee matches, Cole. There's not a superstar in a lot of can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of the job.
the stars are on fire tonight. They sure are. Something tells me this referee's not exactly impartial. He dodged that bullet. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. I'm all in favor of freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. This one could still go either way, Cole. It sure could. It's not over until the referee calls for the bell. These superstars have been going hard all match. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're gonna win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. Looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on him and wear him down. Well, what about picking your spot? He's going for the pin, Cole. One, two, three. Wow, well, listen to that shit. Stick a fork in it, Cole. This match is done. to just stay out of it at this point. Stop it right now! How do you think it makes me feel? Knowing that you guys are all trying to out-macho each other for me. And don't tell me that's not what's going on. Believe me, I know men, and I know when you're trying to impress a woman. She sees right through him, Cole. Let me ask you this question. Have you ever tried to impress a woman? Well, partner, I... Don't answer that. I can only think of one sure way to make you guys stop. This Sunday, at Judgment Day, you're all going to face off in a triple threat match. And I'm going to put my contract on the line. I'll manage whoever wins. And whoever doesn't win, had better act like a gentleman about it, or I'll... I'll never speak to you again. Well, I'll tell you, Tori Wilson just laid down the law. Now I've seen just about everything. Can she do that? Can Tori just make a pay-per-view match like that? Well, with Teddy Long out, we've got no general manager, right? Who's gonna say no? And with Tori's services on the line, I don't think any of these guys are gonna object at all. That's for sure, partner. 